Craig Cameron, Gloves Ed here, and delighted to be joined by Sonny Edwards. Sonny, how are you getting on? Yeah, I'm getting on well, mate. Yeah. Thank you. How's Glasgow treating you? Yeah, it's good. It's the second time in five weeks that I've been there. I was obviously up for the World Boxing, Boxing Super, Super Series. Series yeah. Obviously, Lee had his first fight for the gym. Yeah. And, um, yeah, it's just my second home now, I think. Yeah, how, how did you find uh, the experience of being in the World Boxing Super Series? That was a, a massive night of boxing for, yeah, it was great. for Scotland. Yeah. I managed to somehow blag the inner front row ringside, front row seats for the Inoue, me and Dalton Smith, yeah. who was basically sat in his corner. It's insane, the, the, the level that he operates at. It was great to see like such a talent up close. Yeah, so you've got an upcoming fight, 13th of July, Gallardo, so you're having to fight Mexicans now because no one in Britain wants to fight you, is that right? Uh, well, we're trying to get these British fighters in there. Uh, they're not coming off and it's not by wanting to try and that's for sure. Yeah. I think most have been offered, even bantamweights who are coming down have been offered, flyweights to go up have been offered, all the super flyweights have been offered, same promoters, same managers, I don't know what more else I can do but I'm in a good position now where whether these fights happen for me or not, yeah. I'll stay busy, I'll stay on TV, I'll still pick up these trinket titles, you know, yeah. WBO International, IBF International, I'll keep picking them up, so I'll stay active, so it doesn't really affect me too much, but I personally would like to go the traditional route, but yeah. if no one's fighting the traditional route, it's physically impossible, and I'm not stalling my career for yeah. anyone, and I don't need anyone, I've got to the stage now where I've been fighting on TV, people want to watch me on TV to the best of my knowledge, you know, I got um, made chief support on my last fight at, on fight week, it got changed from third main fight to chief support, boxed well, put in a good performance, had good black like, critics, so I'm in a position where I don't need these fighters now, and I'm back out again in another big show, I think April 27th of July, what, about eight weeks later or whatever it is, yeah. so I'm in a good, good, good place. Um, yeah. I'm enjoying my boxing, I'm, I'm enjoying my career, I'm enjoying the journey, so yeah, these fights, they'd be fun, I'm like the most fun I've had making a fight and winning a fight and everything about it is the Ryan Farrow fight, there's so much back and forward, they're the fights I try and kind of live for at the moment, but I think people f saw how I dealt with a very fiery build up, took it all in my stride, a mature performance against a big step up, and won comfortably, so I don't think any of the other British fighters really fancy getting in that sort of back and forth with me. Um, which is a shame, it really is. Mm. Especially when there's so many fights that need to be made, but I'm 23. Yeah. Who knows, maybe I'll push up in the next 18 months, two mm. years to contest that world level, European level. And if I lose or go up weight, go down weight, who knows, then maybe I'll drop, drop back into the British and then pick up the titles then. Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna be touch wood boxing for a long time, so if I don't yeah. get the British now, it'll be no slight in mind, so I'll come back and get it. Yeah. Do you think the opportunity of something like the format of world boxing super series would appeal to you, Sonny? No, of course, as long as they pay me, right? Yeah. I mean, um, it's got to make sense. So yeah. make it make sense, and I'm there, and that's, that's it. Um, yeah. Obviously, my management team do all of that. I've got a great management team in MTK. I work closely with um, Anto and Anthony Fitzgerald, who everyone knows in the boxing mm -hmm. circuit. Um, he's been looking after me since my debut, and, and I'm in a really good place. I trust his advice. He guides me a hell of a lot more than people probably would think. Mm -hmm. Ask his opinion on, on stuff inside and outside the ring. So. I listen to him, what he's telling me to, to do, maybe to say sometimes, mm. and yeah, I'm just being myself and enjoying the boxing. Uh, if I get caught up too much on people not wanting to fight me, I, I'd be depressed all the time, you know what I mean? Because yeah. the way it's been so far, I can name probably five or six, seven good fighters that have been offered good fights for me at similar stages of their career. I'm not calling them out out of the blue, but it's how yeah. it happens, so mm. who knows. And of, of course the reason you're here in Glasgow twice in the last five weeks is your stablemate Lee McGregor. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's, what's it been like having Lee down in, down in the gym? Well I've known for Lee for about five, six years when the cunt beat me, do you know what I mean? He beat, he beat me up in Scotland when he robbed me in his, in his home gym. Um, and uh, me and Lee have been good friends ever since then, we was on GB together and we've always kept in contact. Um, most of the GB boys lads I don't really keep in contact with, but me and him would always keep in, obviously distant, but we'd keep in contact through, through the beginning of our pro careers. And when he came to me and was talking to me about how he was unhappy, and he said that he would love to come down and, and have a work with Grant, and obviously I sort of arranged it all, and then it happened, they fit in, also helped him get in touch with MTK. So now he's in a place where he feels loved, do you know what I mean? And it's a similar thing that happened with Charlie. Maybe not as much all the sort of back, backward side of things, but with Adam Booth, he didn't feel like he was getting the love that he deserved. And maybe, right, if Adam Booth's got 
big fights coming up for Josh Kelly, for Graham Burnett, Michael Conlon. Obviously, Charlie's eight rounders against a journeyman. You're, you're not getting the same effect, obviously. Yeah. But he made the switch. He changed his life. He didn't just change because he wanted to leave Cheney. He changed his life. He moved up, up sticks to Sheffield. Got closer to me. I've got a little baby. So obviously, his nephew. He's close with him. Obviously, um. And a similar thing that's what's happened with Lee. He's obviously moved down and he's really enjoying it. He's all the lads. There's a couple of us lads up here tonight. Um, a few are in camp and, and, and whatnot, so not everyone can make it, but he's firing the gym. He's had a good good camp sparring me and Charlie mostly, yeah. as well as a few outside the gym sparring partners, and, he, and he's come on leaps and bounds already. Yeah. And how, how do you see the fight going tonight with Scott Allen? Scott Allen's tough from what I've seen. I've sparred Cash Fruit this week, and obviously he beat him twice, didn't he? Battered him and stopped him, I think, um, the second time. And that's no slight on, on Scott Allen, because you know, I've never really seen too much of Cash Fruit, and I sparred him, and it was a very good spar. Um, mm. well, it was a bit heavier than me, but a good spar. I feel like we both learned a lot, very respectful. He's a very nice lad, but him stopping Scott Allen, for me, puts the, the bar there for Lee. No pressure. I think he'll win. I think he'll win well. Obviously, you have in your head, because of the, you know, the, the Cash Lee situation, they both want to sort of fight each other down the line. Lee will want to beat him better. Yeah, it's simple as. Yeah. I think it would be hard to swallow because he beat him points the first time. So you get to know someone if, you say, if you're a clever fighter, which I think Cash is. So yeah, he stopped him the second time. So for me, there's not too much pressure on Lee, but I think I think he'll get him out there because he's heavy-handed and Scott's awkward, but he's there to be there to be hit. So yeah, yeah. I'm expecting a good performance from Lee, but a tricky one nonetheless. He'll come to have a go, Scott, and he'll yeah. give as good as he can as he possibly can. Yeah. And, that, and that's what you kind of want from an opponent at this stage of your career. Yeah. And you touched on you were sparring with Cash. And you sparred with Lee as well. How, how do their qualities compare? No, I don't really like to talk in sparring too much. That's on the camera or off the camera's winners because sparring is sparring. Do you know what I mean? Um, yeah. He hasn't got a fight date. I'm fighting him for three weeks today. So yeah. I'm expected to be sharp in him. I'm expected to be fitting in him. If I wasn't, there'd be a lot of problems. Do you know what I mean? But, um, and Lee's been firing and I've been helping Lee out. But obviously, Lee's been helping me as well. We've done a 10 round spar, an 8 round spar this week. He's also done 12 rounds. I've done 8, Charlie's done 4, etc. Um, but Lee's a very good fighter. Man. He's yeah. very strong. He loves to have a scrap. He, if someone wants to meet him in the middle, we'll meet him there. Um, catch a good fighter, but obviously my loyalties lie with Lee. Yeah. I think Lee's a fantastic fighter. I think it'll be a good fight. Yeah. Who the winner will push on and lose and come again because it's a good level fight. Yeah. And that's what careers are made of. Yeah, no one wants to lose. It'll be gut wrenching for either either one if they lost. But look at Charlie. He lost. Two years later, was WB champion of the world, so yeah. lost ain't the end of the world. It really isn't. Yeah, no, it's funny. Um, I appreciate you taking the time to speak no, to no us. It's great to see you in Glasgow, and uh, I hope to see you on the 13th of July in London against Gallardo and put on another good performance. Yeah, I hope so. I Thanks hope. again, Sonny. Cheers.